to another episode of Backyard Gardening with Tanya. Today I want to put in those millet seeds because they are growing up. I know it's a little early, but since I don't have to take them out the tray, I'm going to deliver them directly into the ground so it, um, it shouldn't affect the roots. So let's get over there and see what I'm talking about. They getting big, y'all. Jarry Miller. Got little seeds still stuck on them. But they are getting big. And they also getting a secondary leaf right there, see? So, and this one too. These are the Tiger Millers. I always normally wait until they get these leaves before I put them in the ground. But since I'm using this pot and I don't have to take these out of here, just sit it the whole thing into the ground, just cut out the bottom. I'm going to go ahead on and put it around here. So that I can fill this arch up. I know it seemed kind of far from the arch, but I have my um, what you call them? Berries. Berry vines. Yes, going up here, they dormant right now, but they always come back. So I'm gonna leave that alone and, and come out a little more, so that we don't have to worry about the vines. And the twine. I'm gonna use this um, compost. Cow and compost manure here. I got from Walmart. I'm putting it directly in the ground. Then I'm gonna bury it on top of that. I'm not gonna do nothing extra, nothing wowy. I'm just gonna put this compost in and put inside my millet. I think I'm gonna get a close up of the bag so y'all can see what I'm using. I got this for how much you were, baby, at Walmart? $240. $240. Ooh, I ain't got my gloves. I'm going to dump this in there. Love my hoe, y'all. It's my first time actually doing this kind of milling, but I did other milling throughout the years. And I really don't do much special stuff. Because normally when I was younger, you just throw the seed on the ground and they come up. And I also learned that when you baby your garden, you sit there and watch it all the time and doing this, doing that, doing this, it actually cause your garden to stress more. When you just put it in and leave it alone most of the time, they grow even better. So that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to get these Kajare millers and take them over here and um, put them in. See, I'm just gonna break the cups off like this, y'all. Then I'll put the whole thing in the ground and make sure I take the bottom off so the root can have a place to come through. Normally I wait until these fully come out but since they're in the cup, I'm going to try it different. If it don't work, we'll find out together, then I'll try it again. Oh. You already got a little hole in the bottom. We're just making sure 
and have enough room. I'm gonna do this one, then I come back when I'm done putting these all in. And I'm gonna make sure this is facing this way so it can go up. And I'll continue that all the way down. You up? I'm trying to line them up with this, with these lines. But since these right here already had a bottom out and the roots coming out, I'm not going to take the bottom off. But the, for the ones that doesn't, because I had got some that doesn't, take the. Make sure you take the bottom off of your plant so the roots can have a way to go into the ground see this one right here oh yes it just felt that okay guys i got all this in now i'm just gonna cover it up with some more of this compost just over it over the wood part, the brown part. Make sure that's sticking up. Like so. Oh, I put this one in the wrong way. Did I? Sure did. Hold on, let me turn this. Make sure, cause these come out through the sides and most likely gonna go up this way. All right, I'm gonna finish this up and then we'll come back guys. Guys, I'm gonna use these sticks bamboo sticks that I got from the 99 cent store. I'm going to stick it right close to it and lean it on where I want it. So that way when it starts coming up, I'm going to train it to come up this vine and hit, hit the trellis. Because I have it so far away. So I'm going to do that all the way down. I'm going to tie it some kind of way on there. So. Then I could train it as it go that way. Like so. I tie them, I'm going to tie them down so they can't come up. Like so. So that way when it as it comes up, I can go ahead and start training it to go up the arch. Thank you guys so much for tuning into this episode of Backyard Gardening with Tanya. I hope you like this episode. So push that like button, subscribe, and hit the bell so you can get more videos. Thank you. God bless.